What's good guys, in today's video I'm going to feature a whole bunch of amazing weapons that you can use for your Mystic Spear Hand. Let's jump straight into it. If you're looking for a specific weapon, then go ahead and check the chapter list down below. And if you found this video helpful, then I would really appreciate it if you smash that like button for me. But without further ado, let's lock in. The first weapon in question is going to be this one right here. This is the Dead Ringer. There's two ways you're able to get the Dead Ringer in this game, so I'm going to feature both of them. The first time you'll ever be able to get the Dead Ringer in Dragon's Dogma 2 is going to be at the city of Melv. After you have reached Vernsworth, you're going to want to do the Monster Culling quest, and then you're going to want to help out the ox cart over here at the North Vernsworth ox cart station. There's going to be an ox cart master here that's going to ask you to protect his ox cart while it's trying to travel to Melv. During this quest or after you finish this quest, when you reach Melv, there's going to be a dragon attacking the city. Walk past the dragon, climb up to the ballista and take two shots at the dragon before it flies away. And congratulations, you just picked up the dead ringer. As soon as you walk over to the dragon's body, you will have the Dead Ringer, as well as you can talk to the Mystic Spearhand Meister, and he will give you the ultimate ability. Now, just in case you didn't get the Duo Spear here, there's two more times you're able to get it. One of them is actually buying it off an of NPC. Once you reach into Bak Batal, there is an area that you're going to find a dwarf. When you speak to that dwarf and help him with his quest line, he can actually become a secret vendor for you you can buy the Dead Ringer from him. So, if you don't know how to get in the Bak Batal, go ahead and take a look at this video right here. I give you four different ways of you sneaking into Bak Batal. But once you're here, you want to travel down this path, Digger's Ruins Cave, which is the cave that everybody has been using to make a bunch of money. You can go all the way down this path here, travel through Drabnir's Grotto, come out the other side, and your NPC should be in this area right here. He's going to be screaming and saying how much his back hurts. So go ahead, get him some flowers so he can make a curative and he can cure his back. He will then travel to his house, which you want to follow behind him. Go to his house, talk to him and his wife, and then he's going to ask you to take him to a spa. Once you have finished this quest, two things are going to happen. The first thing is you're going to visit this place over here, the Volcanic Island Camp. This is the actual location where the spy is. You can unlock the Magic Archer vocation because that is his wife. She is going to thank you for helping her husband in the first place. And she'll give you the vocation straight off. Then she'll also give you the ultimate ability. When you go back to her home, you can actually talk to the dwarf and he will become a secret vendor as well as he'll be able to use the dwarven smithing style to upgrade your weapons there's one more way you're able to get the dead ringer if you don't want to buy it off of him and that's coming over here to dragon's breath tower this is a tower that is going to have the dragon and also the mystic spear hand meister they're going to be fighting the dragon right over here you can join the battle and beat it down once you beat down a dragon, congratulations, you got your weapon. The next weapon on this list is going to be this one right here. This is actually a personal favorite of mine. It was one of my favorites because I was using it for so long during my playthrough. This is the Soul of Antiquity. The Soul of Antiquity can be bought off the vendor right here in Bak Batal. What you want to do is you want to run into the city proper and head off to the right where the vendors are. Once you get over there, just talk to the first vendor that you see and he's going to have a whole bunch of weapons for you. One of the weapons that he has in his inventory is this one. It's going to cost you about 45,000 gold. And there it is. You can also buy the Wings Asunder from him if you're interested. But instead of buying this, you can actually just find this out in the wild. I haven't been able to find the Soul of Antiquity out there in the wild, but I did find the Wings Asunder. 
So we'll look at that one next. But going over the stats just before we move on, it has 629 in strength, 580 in magic, 100 slash damage, and 301 in knockdown power. The Dead Ringer has 800 in strength, 751 magic damage, 100 slash damage, and 555 knockdown power. But I also upgraded this with the Dwarven Smithing Style, so that's why it has so much knockdown power. Moving on to the next best one, the Wings Asunder. The Wings Asunder can actually be found in a cave not too far away from Bak Batal. You can actually get this from this place right over here, the Rocky Lair. So once you come through the checkpoint rest town, you can actually just hop on an ox cart, sneak through the border, come straight down. And once you follow this all the way down past the Enoa Batal Forest, make a right and walk into the Rocky Lair. Inside the Rocky Lair, there's gonna be a monster in here. Take them out, but up on the right side, you're gonna see a chest. And in that chest, it's gonna be Wings Asunder. You can also buy Wings Asunder from the vendor in Bak Batal, but that's completely up to you. Currently, I haven't found the location out in the world of the Soul of Antiquity, but once I find it, I'll go ahead and leave a link to it down in the description below. Let's talk about the Fool's Prize. The Fool's Prize is a little bit tricky to get to, but that is also in Bak Batal. So from Bak Batal, you wanna travel along the main road all the way over here. Go ahead and head up past this campsite. Go past the tomb of Renu Labar. Go across the river. And at this campsite right here, you wanna make a right and come up. You can look up from this direction right here and you're gonna see a bridge. Go ahead and climb up to that bridge, cross it, and you'll be at a campsite. Now, on the exact opposite of this area, you're gonna see a bunch of goblins protecting a chest. In that chest is the item that you're looking for, the Fool's Prize. What you can do, if you're not ready to fight these guys, you can actually hop across, aggro them, hop back across the mountain. They're gonna try to run all the way down the mountain to come chase you. And once they run off, you can walk straight up to the chest, open it, and be on your merry way. There's also a chest just behind this, so you can grab that too. And that is how you get four of the most insane weapons for the Mystic Spear Hand. But we're not done yet. There's one more that is actually another personal favorite and it's an elemental weapon. We got one more weapon to talk about in this video and that is the Infernal Edge. This is probably gonna be one of the easiest weapons that you can get to early in the game and it's extremely powerful so it will carry you at least into Back Batal. This weapon is currently sitting at 502 strength, 453 magic, 100 slash strength and 293 knockdown power which is not bad at all it has a permanent flame enchantment that is always on it so it is a very very powerful weapon for those enemies that are weak to fire damage you can actually collect this weapon from right up here outside of the checkpoint rest town from this place you're going to want to cross the bridge go down this area right here run past all the falling rocks and the Saurians, go past this forgotten riftstone, go through the forest and come out the other side. There may be a dragon down here. If you haven't already fought this dragon, you can hop inside of the castle, climb the ballista and shoot at the dragon and then take it out from there. Or you can follow this guide right here so you can two shot the dragon, take it out easy and come back down. Once you come back down, you wanna come all the way over here near to this campsite and you're gonna see an NPC. That NPC is going to be screaming for help. You're gonna to wanna to help him and then he's gonna ask you to assist him to go inside of the castle. Once you go inside of the castle, 
you're going to escort him all the way to the room that he's trying to get to that has a bell in it. And after you do so, he's going to give you a key. Take that key, head directly outside of that room to the door on the opposite side, break the crates that are in front of it, and use the key on the door. Inside of this room, you're going to find your duo spear. If you like what we do here in the channel, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips, tricks, guides, and a whole lot more for Dragon's Dogma 2. For the rest of the video, I'm actually just going to feature all the different weapons and me taking out different enemies using them. So you can go ahead and check out now if you're not interested in that. But I really appreciate your time and I can't wait to see you in the next video. This was your boy M of M since HD. For now, I'm out of here.